Hi Pisces, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot reading for the month of July 2018. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking and sharing these videos that I put out on YouTube. I am truly grateful and appreciate every one of my subscribers coming in every day and the beautiful positive confirmation confirmations and comments that they leave me. Keep in mind this is strictly a general reading but if you'd like clarity, accuracy and answers to any questions I welcome you to go up there and click that button and it will take you to my website where you can see the services that I offer and how to schedule either a private reading with me or a Reiki session with me. Okay Pisces, my beautiful mermaids and mermen, all my beautiful fish, we start off with the first week of July. <clears throat> and the beginning of that first week, you've been given an Earth card, and this is the Six of Earth. And this shows me that things are going to improve financially for you. Things uh, I do see abundance coming in, and it could be in the time, in the form of money, uh, time, or effort. So some of you uh, that have been expecting, expecting money to come in know that it will be coming in soon. Those of you that uh, have been working on, on uh, you know, very hard at, with your effort on uh, a situation in your life, a project, or something you've been working on, know that you're going to be recognized for that and getting credit for it. Others that <clears throat> have been wanting time off, please know that you will be uh, allocated that time off. This is all about new career opportunities for some of you. Some of you are embarking on that. Expect that things are going to happen. Those resumes that you've been putting out, all that hard work that you've been doing, there will be a new career opportunity coming in. For some of you, this, uh, this is also the card that says if you have uh, gone for a loan or you, a, a temporary loan or a loan for something, perhaps in business, whatever, know that it has been accepted. You will receive those monies. Those of you that have been trying and struggling to pay off a long time debt, know that you'll have the resources to clear that soon. <clears throat> Great card, Pisces, for the middle of the first week, the chariot. This is all about uh, patting yourself on the back for a major achievement that you've accomplished only because of your own uh, effort, your own uh, self-discipline and willpower. The, the chariot's a wonderful card <clears throat> of success and, and achievement and things uh, turning out on your path uh, because of the hard work that you put into something. It's almost like people are going to notice and say, wow, you're like a different person. You shine and you're happy and you're bright and you just like you're not walking, you're walking on air. This is also the card of going on a trip and riding in many different kinds of vehicles. King of Fire, end of the first week, Pisces. A fire has to do with, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, setting our creative juices into motion and our personal self-development. And often that means taking great leaps of faith. It means, uh, you know, taking risks and going places we normally wouldn't go. But this is telling me that there's a situation in your life that you need to truly, truly focus on at this time. Because you're going to be able to take up the leadership role. You're going to be able to step up and be able to guide others and speak your truth. <clears throat> I do see you're going to be able to communicate. You're a great communicator, Pisces, and you're going to be able to do that with vision. I do see that you're going to be taking some creative advice from someone, uh, maybe an older man or a woman who's quite mature, but please take their advice. They're very motivated, I, they're idealistic, they're ambitious, and they're charismatic, and they're going to try to instill those traits into you to help you with this endeavor you're working on. <clears throat> Beginning of the second week of July, Pisces, you've got a major card and you've got the moon. And that's all about uh, things going on behind the scenes that maybe you need to tap into and you may, may need to look into and to get all the information on something that you need to get. Uh, it can have to do with secrets. Some people say it's, you know, they like to look at it as secrets in the background. I like to uh, <clears throat> assess it as information you need to get. Um, I do see that, you know, yeah, there's events going on behind the scenes that you need to look into. I want you to release any fears that you've been carrying about this situation. Let it go, my friend, okay? You are very intuitive and you have psychic insight. So you pretty much know when you walk into a room or a situation, you can surmise it and look around and know where to place yourself. <clears throat> the four of water for the middle of, love our water signs, that's Pisces, four of water for the middle week middle of the week of the second week, pardon me, the middle of the second week of July. I'll get that out right. <clears throat> so <clears throat> some of you are in a relationship or a situation in your life where you think you're missing an opportunity. 
and you don't even see anything positive about it. And you need to open your eyes for any possibilities coming down your path. So uh, don't dote on this situation where you're, you're allowing all that negative energy to take over and drain you. So please know that, um, you know, th keep your eyes open. There will be opportunities coming down the path for you to help you with this situation and this, you know, this your feeling of missing this opportunity. <clears throat> it's almost like you're discontented and bored where you are right now. It could have to do with being in a relationship that's gone stale as well. Now, <clears throat> total end of the specter for some of you Pisces, the Nine of Water, which is the ultimate card. It's the card where your dreams come true, where you don't have to worry about your relationships anymore and partnerships. It's about success in that department. It's about you finally knowing that all your concerns about your love life can fade into the, into the background, that this is the ultimate. So some of you, <clears throat> I do see, will be getting engaged and uh, walking down the matrimonial aisle. I see some of you um, are in a long-standing relationship that's being revitalized. I see some of you are about to meet your, your true soulmate soon. <clears throat> Eight of water for the beginning of the third week of July, Pisces. <clears throat> and this, is, this talks about dealing with challenges in, our, in your life that uh, may be having to do with legal issues uh, or dealing with, having, with people that stir the pot up where we have to make fair and just decisions and choices determined around them. And often that's difficult. Uh, you <clears throat> often get yourself into a place where you feel trapped and you just want to run away from all of this chaos and drama. And it, it makes you lack self-confidence and afraid to move forward on your path. So please know the word they use here is illusion. Illusion of feeling trapped, okay? Uh, it shows me, the graphics here that my guides show me is that you are the biggest horse in the pack. You're leading the pack, so please know that. Don't lose your confidence. Keep moving forward. In the middle of the third week of July, you've been given the Ace of Air. And Aces are the beginnings of all things <clears throat> in all suits. So things are going to improve. I do see some new ideas coming in. They refer to them as brilliant ideas that are coming in on your path, and they're going to be inspiring to you. They're going to inspire you to keep moving forward. Things are going to change. You're also going to see uh, some information coming in, which will be the truth about a situation. Um, and because this is the ace, in the beginning of this coming in, it may be a little bit challenging. At the end of the third week of July, you've been given the five of fire. And that's all about somebody at the end of the week there in July coming in and wanting to stir the pot up and have a little bit of a fight with you. Uh, they're going to they're going to question your credibility. They're going to question you on what you're doing. Uh, you know, they're going to fill you with all these doubts. And you know what? Pisces, you're like a sponge and you, you absorb all that energy. So I want you to let it go. I want you to realize this individual wants what you have and you've worked hard and achieved for. So <clears throat> they're jealous. And perhaps some of you have been offered a position or a situation in your life uh, or things have improved financially or your love life or whatever. There will always be those that want what you have. So please know they have the same competing goals as you do. And there may be a little bit of a conflict with them or this individual. Just a heads up. So, the last week of the month of July, Pisces, you've been given strength. This has been coming up for others as well. This is all about you digging deep within, okay? I always tell people, if you go within, you'll never go without. But also, that you need to know that your strength is within you. It's embodied in you, okay? I want you to deal with any challenges in a kinder, more compassionate, understanding manner. Don't go in there with your guns blaring, okay? Uh, it doesn't work. Uh, you ha this is all about great inner strength and releasing any harsh judgments, okay? Because they talk about forgiveness. They talk about compassion. So when you're dealing with situations and people around you that, ha you know, that have been challenging, think about it. Take a deep breath and think about the whole picture. In the middle of the last week, Pisces, you've been given a water card, and this is the Eight of Water. <clears throat> and this is all about wanting to search for something more meaningful in your life. If you're in a relationship that's, that you feel like, uh, you know, uh, you have the desire to move on, okay? That's what this is all about. So it talks about your desire to move on. Perhaps it has to do with a relationship that you're on, that you're in, and you're searching for something more meaningful, something more spiritual, something more uh, that will allow you more emotional growth. Perhaps it is a relationship. Perhaps it's with people that you are involved in, in an endeavor, in a project, in, you know, in, a, in, a, in business, in an organization, whatever. Please know that you have that ability to just surface, catch your breath again, and move forward in the direction that you want to go. So 
it does show me that you will have the desire to do this and that you will be doing this because you're searching now for that. At the end of the month, the last week in July, Pisces, you've been given the two of air. And you see that? That's all about locking horns with someone who's very, very different, very opposite to the way you think and, and, and where you're wanting to go. And there is a decision that you have to make, and you've lost horns. And neither one of you wants to make that decision. It's like, oh, well, you know, la, 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 we'll forget about it. Maybe it'll go away. Uh-uh. <laughs> not going to happen, Pisces. I wish, but not going to happen. You're at a stalemate. So... I always tell people, I read this card the same way all the time, that <clears throat> you're going to be the one that's going to step up and be strong and make that decision. And after it's done, you're going to say, sorry, but you know what? You didn't want to step up and do that. You didn't want to uh, be cooperative. You didn't want to help me with this decision that we both had to make. So I've made it, and now you're going to have to live with it. At the end of the reading, I did choose the Ascended Masters, and you got given this Oracle card, Trust. So this is all about you trusting yourself and the direction on your path you're going and keep strong, dig deep for your internal uh, strength here and knowing that, um, you know, you can do this. You had the chariot, you had, you, I mean, that's a beautiful card uh, for you to know that things are going to work out in your favor for all the hard work and effort that you've applied to it. So trust yourself, my friends, okay? If there's others around you, know that you can trust them as well. But basically I read this card of like you trusting yourself right now to move forward in a positive direction on your path. Pisces, always a pleasure, my fish, my beautiful merman and mermaid. I'll see you again in August and know that I continue to stand in that circle of light for you.